and fresh <laughs> on Big 12 Friday. I am so hyped for you right now, my friend, thinking about all these Big 12 teams coming into the Marriott Center. How you feeling, brother? I'm trying to preserve the slightest sense of dignity. <laughs> Let's go! Yes. I mean, yes. come on. Woo! I, I think. Wow! I think men too. Honestly, we should use no words. Just like, hey! <laughs> Woo! Woo! Yeah! Yeah! What? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> of all of all the teams <laughs> that have won out of this thing, being in the Big Twelve, it's obviously men's hoops. Oh. Like everyone's a winner, but men's hoops. Every stinking home game is going to be a, a Gonzaga or St. Mary's type feel. Yeah, it's going to be incredible. I mean, you think about you think about our players, and you think about the fans that get in the Marriott Center. Like it's just it's, it's incredible. You think about the coaches and the teams in this league. It's been the number one league overall the last six years. Ken Palm just put that out, and and uh, and then you think what you're doing is you're taking out Oklahoma and Texas, who over the last two years. I think Texas was in the AP Top 25 once, Oklahoma never. And you're putting in Houston, who's a Final Four, us who've been back-to-back -back Top 25 teams. Central Florida with 72,000 students and Johnny Dawkins. And Cincinnati has got, like, you know, one of the 15 all-time winningest programs in the history of college basketball. This league is terrifying. Terrifying. It is terrifying. <laughs> Bob and then you think about them all in the Marriott Center, Amazing. guys. Amazing. Oh, I'm so excited. Uh, get your season tickets now. I mean, yep. it's going to be a hard ticket to get. Yep. Okay, so. Uh, Think about these coaches. We were talking about this earlier. Yeah. Think about Bob Huggins walking into the Marriott Center. Amazing. I mean, it's going to be so fun. Like, this, Beer, this is, this is really exciting. Now, yeah. now, but listen, I mean, clearly this is two years away. We got our work cut out for us. We're playing in a great league right now. The truth is, if you go and look at the preseason prog uh, analytics, that the Big 12 has four teams in the top 40 preseason. The Pac-12 has four teams in the top 40. And the WCC right now has top four teams in the top 40 right now prognosticated. Us, uh, San Francisco, St. Mary's, and, and Gonzaga. So, I mean, we have, you know, it's not like, like we have our hands full clearly right now. We got the number one team in the country in our conference, right? So we have a ton of work to do as WCC. With that said, and it's such a great league, and they'd be so incredible to us. With that said, the opportunity to have some of these teams roll through the Marriott Center and be in the best top to bottom best conference, basketball conference in the, in the country, it's overwhelming. <laughs> <laughs> I have no words. <laughs> How does this change your recruiting philosophy and your scheduling philosophy moving forward? Well, it's oh, let's start with scheduling because that's way easier. Like. So we've been going out, you guys, this is so, it's so crazy. And listen, I mean, it's because of, it's because of all the foreign players that played here, all these great coaches, Coach Rose and, and Coach Reed and did the whole list, Coach, everybody, um, and, and these incredible players. But it's impossible to get a, a game in the Marriott Center. Like the last 16 months, we've been going to teams and saying, we'll give you a three for one. Oh. We'll go to your gym three times you come here once. We'll give you a three for neutral. We'll go to your home gym for three, for, for three straight years and then just come play in Vivid. And you can't get games. So I'm super grateful that this takes care of that. That is such a massive thing. And I'm so great. You know, our whole time here, the last two years, we've been feeling like, ah, we just have to find a way to get great teams in here for our fans. And now that's done. Like, there's too many great teams coming in. And then in terms of recruiting, you know, it just takes that off the table. Like, you know, I mentioned earlier, the the... The only recruits that are going to not want to come to BYU because of our schedule or our conference are recruits that are, don't want to play against the toughest teams in the country. So it's, it's super exciting, guys. Is there any reason not to come to BYU now? Because before it was like, hey, it feels like it's a good sell. Yep. And honestly, uh, you know, for a decade, we've looked up at Utah and been like, man, that's pretty awesome being yep. in the Power 5 League. All right, this changes things, not to mention being the best basketball league in America, which is crazy. When you think yep. about the ACC and the Big East, nope. The number one league will yep. be the league that BYU is in. Yeah, and it's been tenure too. It's like over the last six years, right? So it's not. This is not just a, a two-year deal. This has been the, the way it's the way it's been rolling. So, 
Um, it, it's super exciting. You asked why they wouldn't come here. So the only bad thing for me is that it used to maybe be conference, and now that's out of the picture. So now the next thing up is, well, the head coach is not very good. So <laughs> if we could just remedy that issue, there'd be no reason not to come to BYU. No, there's no reason. Yeah, I now, it. I know you're a man that wants to take care of some unfinished business. And there are still some things you want to accomplish in the yep. West Coast Conference yep. before you go to the Big 12. Let's highlight some of those. What's on the docket? Yeah, so listen, I mean, this, the conference is this year prognosticated out as being the best the WCC has ever been. Six teams in the top 100, four teams in the top 40. Uh, it's brutal. You know, we, we've had uh, the, the WCC surprisingly has been great with super seniors. So uh, LMU has their super seniors back. San Francisco has all their guys back. Um, and, 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 you know, of course, Gonzaga is still doing their thing, and they had the best recruiting class in the country again. And um, so this league is really tough. We, um, you know, we, we still, you know, we've been running this nine or ten years. How long have we been in? Ten years? A decade. A no. decade. We still haven't won the WCC. We haven't won a conference title or a tournament title. And so um, it's just not going to feel right getting out of here without doing that. That is a tall task. You have to be the best team in the country to do it. I mean, you literally have to be the best team in the country. So... Um, that's what we're chasing, uh, and we're going to give it a, a massive swing. We're excited. Tyler Haas just texted you, and I spent said, "Let's go!" So yeah. pumped, yeah. twelve, yeah. baby. Ty's yeah. spilling yeah. the mojo. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. I'm Coach. just happy. I'm happy for all of our guys, and this is the truth. Like uh, I think Tom or President said earlier, you know, you think about Kresmer Kosich, and you think about, yep. you know, uh, Danny Ainge and Sean Bradley and Tyler Haas and Brandon Davies and Jimmer Fredette and, and Jackson Emery, and you go down the list of all these guys. That's why we're here. I know it. Like, we get the chance to do this. We get this Marriott Center. We get this practice facility. And because of all the coaches, it's because of and, and what the BYU fans have done. Like, all of those people that came before, they made this place so good that this time around it was a no-brainer for the Big 12. And so I hope, I hope everybody in Cougar Nation is, is celebrating because they're the ones, fans and players yeah. and coaches are the ones that got us here. We yeah. all win. Coach, so great to have you in studio. Uh, be with us again. Congratulations. Your boy Kalani Satake is waiting in the wings to hang out with us for a couple of minutes. Let's go. Can we just say some non-word right now? Thanks, we'll guys. be back with more on BYU Sports Nation.